Hi, it's Chris. It really poured last night and it's sort of raining out, dripping out now. But I thought I'd work on my battery extension cable for the red power bike and batteries. You might ask, why would you want to do this? And there's a couple of reasons. First, it allows you to use other vendors' batteries or to make your own. Just realize that Rad City uses premium Samsung 35R cells and you don't know what these other off-brands will be using. More interesting thing is trying to put two batteries in, in parallel. If you look at this Adafruit chart on a typical Lion discharge, uh, the more you draw the current at a higher C rate, the faster the voltage drops down to being using and the less capacity that you get. My original thought was just to carry a second spare battery so when the first one died I could just swap them out. Several of the charts say that if you take less current out of the battery that you'll get longer uh, performance out of it. So I was thinking that we could make a two battery cable with blocking diodes. This is the five pin Halon discharge connector that you can get on eBay. The Halon five pin connectors that I ordered for the red power bikes arrived today. So I'm going to see if I can make a battery extension cable. I'm going to try to solder these two 12 gauge wires onto the large pins. Make sure you check the polarity. I decided to reverse the orientation of the back rack battery holder so that the plug is back here so it's a shorter distance down to the the uh, bike connector because with DC you want to run as short wires as possible. Here are the two different styles of battery connectors I made for the red power battery. This one I used uh, two banana plugs pins and this one I used the hell long five pin connector that you can get on eBay. I also made a connector that's going to fit in the battery holder on the e-bike. So I've got this connector cable that I made up before, but it just seemed unprotected. So this one just slides in here and the wires go in there. And when it fits in the rails of the battery holder, it will keep this pushed against it so it can't come out. This is the battery connector I made using the Halong uh, five pin connector and it just slides into the back of the battery. I'm gonna wires down. Made a female connector holder that goes down here and just slides and locks in. For my first test, I just wanted to see if the rear battery could run the bike. So I've got the connector down on the bottom and I just have the wire going up to the post and into the battery. Yep, so that seems to work. Got five, five bars. Well, I forgot that the Rad City Step Through has regenerative braking. So using block, blocking diodes uh, won't really work because it's going to block the power going back into the batteries. Companies like Datex make combiners but they'll have similar problems with the regenerative braking systems. I still like to find a paved racetrack nearby that I could do some testing at. I want to compare the range difference between using two batteries in parallel versus running two batteries one after another. Well, that will be a topic for another movie. At least you can use these connectors to hook up a third-party battery to your Red City bike. So if this has been helpful, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.